In this video, I'm going to walk you through everything you know to get started with Flowdesk in 2024. We're going to cover the essentials of setting up your account, creating your first email campaign, using forms to build your email list, setting up automations, and tracking your email performance. Don't forget to stick around until the end because I am going to show you how you can get a free trial to any of Flowdesk's paid plans. Let's dive in. If you don't already use Flowdesk, make sure you click that link in the description to get started. Once you click that link, you are going to be taken to this page right here. You can either sign up with Google or you can go ahead and enter your email address and a password and go ahead and click try for free. Let's take a look at the Flowdesk dashboard and how to navigate it. When you first log in, you'll notice a few key sections. Up at the top here, you'll see emails. This is where you'll create and manage your email campaigns. Then moving over to forms. The form section is for creating opt-in forms that will help you grow your email subscriber list. Next is workflows. Workflows are automations that let you set up sequences of emails triggered by specific actions like a welcome email when someone subscribes. The next section here is the checkout section. The checkout section is for selling in e-commerce that is an additional add-on to the regular plan. Next is your audience and this is where you can see everyone on your email marketing list and so on. Lastly is analytics and here is where you'll find your data on your email performance such as open rates, click-through rates, and overall engagement. The dashboard keeps everything organized and within easy reach making it super simple for you to jump between each of these sections. Creating your first email campaign. Flowdesk is famous for its beautifully designed templates, so even if you're not a design expert, you can still create professional eye-catching emails with minimal effort. Step one is to choose a template. All you are going to do is go ahead and click new email. You are gonna be presented with a variety of template designs for different purposes, whether you're sending a newsletter, announcing a sale, or delivering a lead magnet. For this tutorial, let's just say you're announcing a sale for your business. Let's select a template that fits that theme. We'll go ahead and click this and go ahead and click customize. One of the great things about Flowdesk is that its templates are designed to be visually appealing and easy to customize. So whether your brand is modern, minimalistic, or bold, you'll find something that suits your style. Step two, let's customize the email template. So once we've selected, what you're going to do is now be taken to the editor as shown. This is where you can customize every element of your email, starting off with the text box. Here you can click on any text box and you can edit the text. You can adjust the font style, color and alignment to match your brand's look and feel. Flowdesk gives you access to a ton of different fonts and you can customize them completely to match your needs. You also can change the size as well as the font color. You also can create brand colors that will live at the bottom here so you have completely easy access to all of them. If you need to undo, you can go ahead and click undo. You also can easily upload any photos. So to add a photo, you can click what is already a block right here and then you can upload any image. Just use this as an example. You can adjust the shape and you can zoom in or out if you would like. And then if you come across here, you can see layout. So this is where you can select different layouts for this specific template. We'll just leave it the same for now. And then you can also add a link if you want. This is the block. So if you want to change the background color, you totally can, which since this is just this image, you're not really going to see the background change at all because it's covered by the photo. For example, if you wanted to change the background of this whole email, all you would have to do is go ahead and click the backdrop cover and change it to whatever you would like. If you wanted to add a section to add an image, what you can do is click the plus button and here you can select image and then you can add an image the exact same way as I just mentioned. Flowdesk also offers stock footage that you can use if you don't have your own visuals. To add a stock image again, let's just go ahead and click here, add image. What you'll want to do is add photo from Unsplash. So here you can search and then you can add it directly on there. Buttons and links. So so here you can see there already is a button added. So here, if you want to change the style, you absolutely can. You also can adjust the color. It's very customizable. If you want to add a button from scratch, all you'll do is go ahead and click that plus button. And then here you can add a button and then you can completely customize it from scratch by adding different texts. And then again, you can adjust the font, the size, and so much more. Adding a CTA is super important to get the viewer to do something and take action from this email. So this can be your website and all online store or any other page you just want to direct your audience to, maybe a freebie or anything like that. Now customizing layouts. If you want to rearrange the elements in the email, it's super easy because of Flowdesk's drag and drop interface. So all you have to do is you can either use these up and down arrows or you can simply drag however you would like. You can move the text, the images, the buttons, really anything. You are in complete control of how your email is laid out. So it just ensures that it looks polished and professional. Step three, adding personal 
personalization. Flowdesk allows you to personalize your emails to make them feel more tailored to your subscribers. For example, you can automatically insert your subscriber's first name into the emails, subject line, or greeting, which is a proven way to increase engagement. Personalization is a great way to make your emails feel less generic and more personal, which boosts your open rates and conversions. To add a personalization, all you'll do, let's just say you want to add some text. We'll click that plus button, add some text, and then we'll just delete this. Just go ahead and do shift two to bring up that at sign. And then you can do your first name, last name, or email. Just in case people haven't added their first name, they'll ask you to add some sort of other display. So I use love because I say hi love to a lot of people or friend or gal, guy, whatever you want to do. So you can go ahead and click that and it will insert it right in there. One last thing I want to go over within the emails itself is all these different things that you can add in emails. Here you can see if you click that plus button, you'll have layout. So this is all the different types of layouts that you can use. You also can add images like we showed. You can add your logo. You can add a video. You can add your Instagram text like we showed. You also can add a link bar and it has a bunch of different links and you can edit how many you want in there as well as you can add a divider if you would like. There's also a spacer again, just to make sure everything looks beautiful and aligned as well as social links, a footer, your address, a countdown, e-commerce. Again, this is an extra paid portion, a poll, and some of your favorites if you have selected any. Formatting and design options. Flowdesk's design capabilities are what really set it apart from other email marketing platforms. Whether you're focused on beautiful typography, rich visuals, or clean layouts, Flowdesk has you covered. Typography and font choices. Flowdesk gives you a wide range of fonts to choose from. You can choose classic fonts like Arial and Times New Roman or something more creative and artistic. Whether you want a playful vibe or a more professional tone, Flowdesk's font section helps you nail down your brand's voice. In addition to choosing fonts, you can adjust the font size, line spacing, and letter spacing, giving you complete control over how your text appears. To ensure your email aligns with your brand's visual identity, you can fully customize your email's color scheme. Change the background color, text color, button color, and even the color of individual elements like borders and sections. If you have specific brand colors, you can input their hex codes to ensure a perfect match. What you also can do is preview on the desktop as well as mobile just to make sure it looks good on both. Once your email is perfectly designed and you're ready to move on, we are going to go ahead and get ready to set up your campaign for delivery. Scheduling and sending your email. After you've finalized your email, it's time to decide how to send it and when. Here's how you do it. Choosing your audience. Flowdesk allows you to easily select the audience you want to send your email to. If you've already been collecting email subscribers through opt-in forms, you can choose to send the email to the entire list or specific segments. Let's go ahead and schedule our email. Once we have finalized, we are going to go ahead and click next. Here you can choose what the name it's coming from and what email. Once that's done, we'll go ahead and click continue. You can add a catchy subject line and here you can even add emojis if you would like. You also can add a preview text and preview text is the little snippet that appears after the subject line in most emails. You do have to keep this under 90 characters. Once that's done, you can go ahead and click continue and then this is where you will choose your recipients. If you only want to choose selected segments, so as you can see, there's all subscribers, but then I also have all these different segments from different email opt-ins. If I only wanted to send it to the people who got the habit tracker and meal plan, I can go ahead and click that. Or if I want to send it to just all subscribers, I can do that as well and click save. Here you can see there's 122 recipients chosen. If you wanted to just add individuals, you also can do that as well, or you can upload from CSV. Let's go ahead and just add all subscribers, save, and then we'll go ahead and click continue. We have a few options here. You can send a test email, which I always recommend. Before you schedule your email, I highly recommend sending a test email. So all you'll do is go ahead and send a test and you can select what email you want to send it to and click send test. So now you can either select to send your email now or later. Let's select tomorrow and a time. The cool thing about Flowdesk is it also offers you the best times to send morning, afternoon, or evening. You of course can select a certain time. So if you wanted to do maybe 5 a.m. save, or if you want to choose a select the best time for the morning, Flowdesk offers based on data analytics, which is the best time in the morning, the afternoon, and the evening. All you have to do next is go ahead and click schedule and it will be on the way. Perfect, view scheduled email and it will appear in here. If you want to delete or unschedule, all you have to do is go ahead and click unschedule. And then from here, you can delete if you want to. Let's talk about how you can grow your email list using Flowdesk's powerful opt-in forms. To go to the opt-in forms, all you'll do is click this forms tab and you can create a new form or if you already have one created, you also can go ahead and click here and duplicate and then edit from there. But let's go ahead and click 
like new form. Here you can see there is a bunch to choose from. So we have Lincoln Bio, Pop Up, the new ones are Spinner and Countdown. Let's go ahead and select a link in bio. We'll customize it. And then what you'll want to do is choose a segment. So if you don't already have one, you can create one. So let's just go ahead and we'll click email opt-in and save. So here, what you can do is create some sort of lead magnet, or you can even just have them sign up for the list. So what you can do is again, edit like any email. So if you want to update the text, you can do that here. Here are the fields that you're going to request. So up here, you can see your name and your email. And then you also, again, can adjust the font and style. And then what you want to do is make sure you customize the thank you page as well. So it can be thank you for subscribing. Thank you. You also can do a custom message if you would like to. And then you click share and then it'll create your custom link. This way you can share this link and get people to opt in to your email newsletter. When someone fills out the form, their email will automatically be added to your subscriber list in Flowdesk, making it super easy to nurture new leads. Workflows. With Flowdesk's workflows, you can create email sequences that are triggered automatically based on specific actions your subscriber takes. For example, you can create a welcome sequence that sends a series of emails to new subscribers over the course of a few days or weeks. This is a great way to introduce them to your brand, provide valuable content, and eventually pitch your product or service. You can create a new workflow by clicking here, but I want to show you an example of my welcome sequence. So here you can see you will add the trigger, and that is whatever segment that they are added to, and this will be based on the form. So let's just say we created a form and we titled it welcome sequence. And these are just people that opt into our emails. We'll be able to select that here. And then what you'll do is create your first email. And then what you do is add plus. And then if you want there to be a time delay, you can say wait three days and so on and so forth. You can do as many as you would like. In between the emails, you'll have this selection. You can either send an email, time delay, condition, or action. So this last one is subscriber will complete the workflow. But again, you can add this three days. I can do a certain day of the week, a certain time. You can really customize it to make it go with your needs. The beauty of workflows is this is automatic, so you don't have to manually send out multiple emails to new subscribers. These workflows are going to save you so much time and ensure that your audience is always engaged, even when you're not actively sending emails. Tracking email performance. Now that your email campaigns are running, you'll want to track how they're performing. Flowdesk's analytics tab give you insights into how your emails are resonating with their audience. If you go ahead and scroll to analytics, here you can see your subscribers at a glance. You can see total active subscribers, new in the last seven days, new in the last 30 days. Here you can see subscriber growth, and then you can also see recent subscriber activity, and in the last 30 days, subscribers by source, and then you also can see performance by segment. So email opt-in, welcome sequence, all of the different segments that I have created, and then you can also see performance by subscriber. Here you can see, you can click by total send, opens, open rate, clicks, and click rate. If you go over to emails, here you can see the lifetime email metrics, deliverability, unsubscribe rate, click rate, etc. You also can scroll over and see how many emails you have sent, total email volume, average open rate, average click rate, and average unsubscribe rate. You also can see best time to send emails, so whether that's a certain day of the week, the total volume, open rate, and click rate. And then here you can see in the last 30 days when your subscribers open their emails and if they were on a desktop or mobile, and you can even see performance by email. If you want to sort highest to lowest, you can go ahead and click at the top and see. Now forms. Here you can see the amount of visitors, the opt-ins, and the conversion rate that you have, as well as visitors and opt-in forms. You also can see workflows. So you can see workflows at a glance, workflow activity, and so much more. Lastly, again, this is checkouts. And again, you'd have to upgrade to the e-commerce in order to be able to have access to that. And that's it. Now you know everything you need to get started with Flowdesk in 2024, from setting up your account and creating beautiful emails and automating workflows and tracking your performance. You are fully equipped to start building your email marketing strategy. If you're ready to dive into Flowdesk, don't forget to use our exclusive link in the description to unlock your free trial of any of the paid plans of Flowdesk. It's the perfect opportunity to test out the platform and see how it can transform your email marketing. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment if you have any questions. This channel is dedicated to helping startups grow their online presence with the best tools and strategies. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in the next video.